There is protest currently ongoing in Edo State. The people of Edo State have come out to say no to APC. There are allegations that the APC is massively rigging the election in favor of the party. As we speak currently, as at this time of doing this broadcast, APC is leading the PDP with over 30,000 votes after, I mean, I believe 18 local governments. Now, Obaseki, before this thing that happened, before this protest, Obaseki went to the INEC Coalition Center as early as 2 a.m. on Sunday morning to make sure that these people are not going to repeat what they did in 2023 where they announced a result at 4 a.m. where everybody went to bed. When everyone was asleep, INEC announced the result. The same INEC that have been complaining about for a long time. You can't have a free and fair election under a Mamu Yakubu with the same INEC electoral officers that rigged the 2023 presidential elections. You cannot have a free and fair election. This system is rigged. Now it is time for Edo people to come out and show their might. Edo people, it is time for you to come and defend your votes. We can see protests on the streets. Ask INEC to do the right thing. But I am skeptical about PDP winning this election. You can see the PDP governors were so helpless that they had to announce results themselves instead of waiting for INEC to announce the results. Systematically, results are trickling in and systematically, APC is taking the lead. Some people say that they never imagined that anybody in Edo State would vote for an APC. Looking at the fact that APC has brought calamity upon Nigerians, I have interviewed many people from Edo State, both online and offline, they were saying that they would never accept APC. Instead, Labour Party would be the party they would choose. But all of a sudden, Labour Party could not be able to pull 20,000 votes in this election. That shows you the goats, the mad goats that we have as Nigerians. Somebody also said that he will know the number of mad people when he sees votes for APC. I told you that Nigerians are goats. Most Nigerians are good. Most people do not deserve a voter's card because they cannot make right decisions. Imagine being influenced by money, money for your future. These politicians that you have been collecting money from all these years, they have destroyed our own future and we are subscribing to them so that they can destroy the future of an unborn generation. Don't tell me about popularity. Don't tell me about uh, politics or political structure. What is right is right. If you follow evil, no matter how big or bogus or good looking that evil thing is, you must have a very evil end. Your end would not be good. Because when people come out and say, a eh, Labour Party does not have structure, a eh, PDP this one, eh, you need to understand politics. Politics that your country cannot maintain its refineries. Your country with all the natural resources is one of the poorest countries in the world. With your politics. Since independence, you are not dependent with your politics. Look at how your politics, where your politics have taken you to. I am not surprised. I've been saying it over and over again. APC, APC, rigging his election is a likelihood. Some people are saying that to shut up my mouth, this one, that one. My brother, it is not about your sentiment. It's about what is on ground. I said the same thing during OB, when OB was contesting as president. I said that Tinubu was going to win the election. Not because the people will vote Tinubu, but because the process has been hijacked. And INEC came much more prepared. Imagine, you don't have access. The governor was calling the INEC rec according to him, but the INEC rec was not giving him information. Who knows if he is going to answer calls of other people. Imagine almost eight governors in Edo State. The Lagos state governor was there, the Senate president was there, Ogun state governor was there. 
let me ask people that that will tell me that i should not get involved in lagos politics what is sonlu doing in edo state what is a yoruba man doing in edo state what concerns on Wulu? Let me be asking the same question the way you're asking me. Go back to your region. What is Dakpo doing in Edo State? Has he been able to fix roads? Has he been able to fix the roads that is dilapidated in the state? If I were to behave like you, almost eight to nine governors were awake. In the morning, they were singing um, worship songs, crooks and criminals. They are, they are Cornered our commonwealth, and we are using politics, structure, evil and criminal structure, support them. You that voted for APC, I know that you don't like yourself and the future of your unborn children. And there will no pity for people that will sell their future. No pity, no help is going to come to people that will sell their future. How would you allow APC to this thing? I saw it. I saw it and I said it. Do not allow APC. If you allow INEC to vote, INEC is casting its votes now. We don't know who he's going to cast his own votes for. But we can see that APC is leading and APC might be announced winner. See, protests needs to be effective. Whatever protest you are doing in Edo State needs to be effective because these people, they don't send you. I've said it before. You don't know who Tinubu is. You don't know. You don't know who, you don't know who Tinubu is and the APC. They don't come to tell you one thing and they will not do it. When Tinubu said he was going to deliver APC, uh, Edo State to APC, he meant everything. Some people were coming out to say Edono Bilagos. The man that said Edono Bilagos has joined the APC. That is, Philip Schwebu was the one that coined that word Edono Bilagos. We that helped Obaseki stop rigging by Tinubu and co. during Buhari regime has now went, uh, is in the camp of the APC fighting against PDP. And you think that voting APC will help you. APC does not have anything to do with you. They, don't, they are not concerned about your well-being. These are people that have destroyed the country. These are people that have brought Nigeria to its knees. So, 18 local government so far, APC is leading. And we have, I think, we have uh, a disappointing look from the face of the governor of Baseki. A disappointing look. Obaseki is disappointed. Ashwe Godalo is disappointed. The PDP governors are disappointed. Let me not talk about Labour Party. Labour Party, the people voted for an Ishan man. They were all concerned about an Ishan person. They never wanted good governance. They never wanted integrity and sincerity. They wanted lies. They were told them and told them, okay, if you never wanted, if you wanted integrity, and someone that is capable, why is it that anybody, even though APC is rigging the elections, nobody at any stand should sell his or vote and support APC? If the protest is not massive, nothing will happen. I told somebody, this is how it's going to be. Your, your, your confraternity will not come out and support you, be watching. Confraternities will be bribed. If I were to be a politician, I've told you how I'm going to rig the election. I will bribe the confraternities and their heads. I'll earmark billions of naira. So these are the people that can cause real havoc. But the ordinary men and women, you will shout because you are without knowledge, you are without understanding, they will play you. The problem we have in Nigeria today is INEC, INEC, INEC. Not even the, the party. INEC, INEC, INEC. INEC is the one that conducts the election. INEC is the one that overlooks the region. A PDP uh, agent said that a certain local government was being rigged. The person, the INEC, asked him, do you have any other result sheet? Excuse me, how would he have any other result sheet when the result you presented is being alleged to be manipulated? How do you expect him to have any other result sheet? You want to just defeat his argument with that statement of yours. Do you have any other result sheet? That is like the devil asking Eve, did God say, in the Garden of Eden, devil asking Eve, did God say that you should not eat? Devil knew that God said that they should not eat of that fruit, but devil was asking the question, asking Eve that question direct, directly, did God say? Inek knows if they are going to manipulate the vote, but you're asking, 
do you have any other sleep? Just like the devil, these people are devils incarnate. This, the more you, you realize that we need to have a, 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 a fresh system, even in PDP, PDP you are saying, if they had the chance, they would do much more than APC. Everybody wants to read their way in. Nobody wants to follow due process. Every politics now in Nigeria has been defined as crookedness. Nobody wants to follow due process. If you follow due process, you're an enemy. That's why Labour Party will not get that amount, will not get a reasonable amount of votes because they will not buy your votes. Where's the money to even buy votes? These are parties. The reason why this world is still existing is because of good people. If good people are out of this world, the world will be destroyed. So kudos to the Labour Party. You stood your ground. You brought a candidate with capability trusted you brought a candidate that was ready to work a young candidate to fight for the people but the people rejected the candidate whoever that is mocking the party you are mocking yourself you have come you have set yourself up for destruction and while you are being destroyed we'll be laughing liberal party people liberal party members would not suffer as these people that are supporting evil and bad governance as they would suffer so we are waiting for the elections because I'm optimistic that APC will carry this one. <laughs> you don't know what is happening. I am optimistic that APC will carry the day. Irrespective of whose ox is God. The PDP, as it is now, they are helpless. PDP made a mistake. You should have called for the removal of Nias Onwike's cousin, Sarkov. Do you know what it is? APC is conducting an election. APC. If, I, if I'm saying APC, you should understand what I'm saying. A party of criminals. You carry the election, your election, collation, and put in their hands for them to do an election for you. Tunumu that got into power through so many irregularities. And now you expect. You, I never expected. I told people that PDP will win the election, APC will rig it. That's what I told people. That's what my uh, postulation of the whole result. And Oshomale have shown that he is a somebody that is, was not supposed to even be governor of Edo State in the first place. We are standing for justice, fairness, and equity. We are not standing for your kind of politics that you come and play. Uh, some people were saying in a in one, some Labour Party people were coming out to say that let's play the kind of politi politics they are playing. Who that politics help? It is not all about becoming a governor or being in power. It's about giving good dividends of democracy to the people. We cannot play the politics that people are playing. Even the, the politics they are playing will favor them. Politics of bringing out money to bribe, whether I neck whoever. Imagine, in my mind, I was thinking, they might have stole the INEC rig. You have 10 billion naira. Make this result work beforehand and he will have gone underground and started working. Mahmoud Yakubu also, we know him. He's not trusted by the people. And you leave Mahmoud Yakubu, he didn't protest this removal and that of uh, Yeson Wike's cousin at the National INEC, he didn't protest that removal ahead after the election. See, don't allow these people to mention this. If, they, if the man opened his mouth and said, now the winner is APC, OT Law. Don't bother going to court. We have all resigned to the fate, to our fate, that there's no justice system in Nigeria. GSS that have been going out to arrest people here and there, how many people have they convicted? Have they successfully sued to court and won their cases? It's only intimidation. No, everybody, the system is rigged against the people. Some people were telling me that hey, this one, am I? I'm not in support of APC. I'm not. I'm not in support of even the PDP. Cause what has PDP done? What is the track record with all the billions? What has he done? They are all best of a feather. The same thing they will do if Obasiki had the chance, which INEC and APC did not give him chance. They were only arresting talks belonging to the PDP. They never arrested talks belonging to the APC. I be APC no get talks. APC no get talks. Now, this election, we want to make people not come out to vote in Nigeria again. It happened in Edo State. Voter party was one of the things 
that happened in the Edo State, people did not come out, were unwilling to come out to vote because they have lost faith in a government of APC, in the institutions that is being run by an APC government. They have lost faith in it. And that is not the way to go. If you back down now, you're a coward. How will you back down? You need to stand up for your rights. Backing down, you have even if we had enough of these voters attending or coming out to vote, it would be very hard for the APC to rig that election. But because you voters were so tired of the system and decided to abandon the system and, not, and do nothing with it, you must take action. You must do something with it. You must take action. Do not allow people steal your votes. Defend your votes to the last. Do not allow people to steal your votes. Let INEC be accountable. Let the process be transparent. If there are things that you do not get, let it be worked out. At this point in time, is a time of sorrow looking at APC leading in this Edo election. Then if APC wins this election, that means nobody should come out and tell me that Edo no be Lagos. Nobody. I know they talk too much. I know they talk too much. I know they talk too much. Nobody should come out and tell me I don't know Lagos. Show workings. Show workings. Show workings. Don't allow these people take away what belongs to you. Show workings. At this point, you know, people are talking about how there should be an alliance of opposition against Bola Tunubu. Let me tell you on that thing again. You hear that one? With your alliance, with the kind of people we have at the front burner, they don't have the guts to match the Demon, demonic manipulation that the APC is going to use in the next election. If I see people like Shore and Amedati at the forefront and Erufai, people like them, I'm not saying them, Erufai has a big comma, but people as fearless, Yayabello, all these people coming out as front for the election, and we have men who is going to back them up as opposition. I can now see that there's a chance. But these people. These people those uh, that were there when Tunubu took that election from them and want to come and uh, what opposition? Nigerians are much more when they see you aligning, when APC see that you people are coming together, they will make sure that Nigerians get the hunger is increased. The hardship is increased times hundred. Then when they come that day and they give one person twenty thousand to sell his birthright, he will sell it because Nigerians, most Nigerians are goats and cowards. Most Nigerians don't need good governance. Most Nigerians don't need the good things of life. Most Nigerians deserve what they get, the leaders they get, the policies they get, the suffering and hardship, they deserve it, they work for it, they, they desire it, they desire it. If APC win this election, I will lose any respect for anybody who comes out to brag that Edo Nobel Lagos. That Edo Nobel Lagos has been defeated by the APC. If this APC win this PDP election, if this APC win this election, Edo people, that statement, Edo Nobel Lagos, come out and show it, show workings that Edo Nobel Lagos, nobody is coming to rig any election here. Nobody is coming to take our votes or manipulate our votes. We must stand by it. Look at what happened in Abia State. And we are going to visit Benjamin Kalu. And from Abia, we don't take we don't take prisoners. We don't take prisoners. We don't take prisoners of war in Abia State. We don't take prisoners of war in Abia State. If somebody like Ojuz Kalu would be pushed aside, who is a someone like a Jagaban in Abia State, if you would be pushed aside, we don't take chances in Abia State. APC has no foothold. Imo can allow that because they were all making him out of social media and they allowed Uzodima win all the local government. People didn't come out to vote because INEC always uses this style, this, this manipulation on people. They, they are even happy that people are not coming out to vote. They are happy about voter air parties. Voter air party, where people are not willing to come out and vote. INEC love it so that they can perpetrate their evil, evil agenda. Happy state is no good area. I told you before, the reason why APC wants Edo State is so that they can have their foothold strong in the South. If APC wins Edo State, 
APC has established its tentacles, its foundation in the South South. And it will be very difficult for anybody to beat Tunubu come 2027. Because the governors in this criminal structure we have in Nigeria today are very instrumental when we talk about winning elections. Because the governors can manipulate votes the, the way WK manipulated votes. He shared it. The state election was for PDP. The presidential election was for, for APC. He shared it. He did the work. We had some people were killed. And the man is standing on the death of people and still wanting to perpetrate another evil on the Nigerian people. Shame on APC. You people went to Edo State and started singing a uh, worship song. Well, I blame the pastors that invite you to your churches. I blame the people that have sold their conscience. I blame people that have shared with you. But some people, there are some people remaining in this country that want restructuring, that want Odudua, that want Biafra, that want Arewa. No going back. Nothing else can work under this system. I will repeat it in all my broadcasts. This system, nothing can work. Let's push for restructuring. Whatever restructure, if they refuse, then we know what to do next. Let us be conscious. Let it become an ideology. Restructuring should become an ideology for all of us. Because with this system, if P2P gets there, my brother will be very difficult. He will be, he will be fighting demons for the first four years and they will remove him until this system is destroyed. If the system is not destroyed, as per Sunday, if the Lord, I went to church, does not build the house, the builder built it in vain. If the Lord does not watch the city, those that watch, watch in vain. If you don't stand by righteousness, God is not with you.